Hey everybody, Miko here again from my self-imposed 28 day live stream challenge. Today we're going to talk about another chapter from my book, How a Postage Stamp Saved My Life. Um, this chapter is how to deal with a difficult boss um, who's mean or a bully. Um, the good thing is that a difficult or mean person has learned this type of behavior and fortunately anything that we've learned can be unlearned. So, but even if your boss doesn't change, you have the power to change yourself and you have the power um, to show up in a certain way regarding this decision. I know I had difficult bosses in the past and it called on me to be the bigger person and to not give in and not to let them have my power. So first of all, I just want to say keep your cool, don't give in to rage. When your temper is out of control, you unwittingly give the difficult person power over you. And no one should ever have power over you. Only you should have power over you. So um, if, if, if you allow someone, else be, someone else's behavior to make you react in a way that is not normally who you are, then you are giving your power to them. They have control over your emotions and you no longer are in control. So secondly, um, I want you to put out all thoughts of revenge. Revenge, 100% of the time backfires. It's never good for anybody. Um, it hurts you, your own organism, your own body, because you're thinking those negative thoughts and every thought has a, a reaction inside of our body and every cell in your body is thinking negatively and all those destructive thoughts, they um, cause people to be sick and to have disease. So you need to make sure you monitor um, what, what you're thinking and not to think about having revenge because this is not who you are. So don't allow someone to make you act in a way that is not true to your character. Next, um, if you sense that the situation is getting heated you with you and your boss or wh whoever, the bully, um, quickly walk away. Do not get into a shouting match with that individual. Try taking a deep breath, count backwards, walk away. Um, go ask for help, have, have talk to somebody else. Um, because when you walk away and you get to remove yourself from the situation, you are in a more calm state. You can think more clearly. And um, if, you're, if your immediate boss is the problem, then maybe you need to go up the chain to his or her boss. Um, so definitely talk to somebody, um, but don't um, react or act in a way that is not true to who you are and your, your, your character. So I just want you to know that you have the right to be treated with dignity and respect. Every one of us on this earth, we deserve that. Um, and because we are valuable human beings. So above all, never ever give up hope that things are going to get better. Things will change. This situation you're going through, you're not always going, going to go through it. And, um, and it could be a way for you to learn um, like how to deal with, um, with 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 situations like this and maybe you could better um talk um j just see how this could serve you in some way even though it's difficult because trust me i've been through it <laughs> having a difficult boss is is who you just don't want to get up in the morning and go to work um fortunately now i have a excellent boss i love my job but i also changed my thinking d during that time with the um the 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 difficult boss that I had that I had to change who I was to make sure that um I was staying true to my character. So just wanted to give you guys that today. Um want to say thank you so much for um going with me on my journey for my 28 day live stream challenge. Um definitely subscribe to my channel and uh this month I am an affiliate marketer for Jeff Walker, so there is a link below this video. Um he's giving away some amazing amazing free training on how how to launch your business. So if you're interested in launching your business, then definitely check out the link. All right? See you tomorrow.